What's up guys? I'm back. If you haven't noticed, I made a video on the hotkeys a little earlier, and today I'm going to be doing the options. So, this, I want to start off with the main stuff. The camera deceleration and camera speed. Deceleration is like when the thing is icy. Like, when you move one place, it keeps moving for a little bit. If you put it up more, it's gonna stop right away. If you put it up less, it's gonna keep like it's gonna flow like water. If you know what I mean. So change that back to where I was. Here's the camera speed. If you wanna change the actual regular speed of it, like how fast the camera moves and stuff. Um, if you do it like this, is more and it goes less. I usually put it averagely low. And that is the main thing I wanna point out. Okay, so here's the game. Auto attack, you have auto attack. I don't put this up because I put auto attack after a spell. Because what if you can't click? Like, you're missing the guy. So, that's just my preference. Here's auto pressure size. I've never used this because I actually, you know what? I should have told my friends to activate that. <laughs> Yeah, I should have done that. And here is auto select summon units. Whenever you're like invoker or something like that, and you activate the forward spirits, it automatically selects them, so you don't have to box group them. Here's double tap ability on self. This is like, for example, Dazzle when he's healing himself. If you double tap, it's gonna heal yourself. Here's unified unified unit orders. Teleport requires stop. This is when when you're moving, it won't use the teleportation. You have to stop right where you're at and then it teleports. I don't really use this because if if you do if you don't use it, um, usually what will happen when you use the teleportation scroll, it stops for you. Here is holding alt highlights hero, and this is normally a good thing for the mini map. If if you want to see like who's middle or who's bottom or anything like that, you can use that. And here's to show names over health bar. I don't see this much useful unless you're spectating a video or anything like that. If you want to see your names and stuff. I don't normally use that. You show hit points over health bar. I don't use this because I just look at that those blocks. I believe the blocks of health. I don't know what to call it, but if you play Dota, you would see. Here's shop. Always uses hotkeys. I I don't know um, what this changes because I don't. I just don't mess with it. Is use broadcaster stat stats. Use colorblind mode if you're colorblind. I don't. I'm not colorblind, so I don't do that. Use pause during fight recap. Here's turret fight recap, and here's the mini map. Here's use simple colors in the mini map, and hide mini map background like the background around it, and draw hero icons on the mini map. Here's names icons always on the mini map. I don't use this because I think it's just gonna be too like gonna be too much in one little space. Here's draw mini map on the right. I don't use this because I have the fortification, my items on the right and stuff like that. I'm used to that. Here's a camera, here's reverse camera grip, here's edge plan, here's the enable screen shake. I use this just to like put up some extra like pizzazz. That's the word. <laughs> um, I I don't use move to respond because whenever I'm about to teleport to a place and it, I respawn and it moves me somewhere else, I kind of like if you know what I mean. I teleport to the spawn because I'm ready to teleport to the tower. I smooth drag camera while spectating. His camera color shift when dead. His high Dota and Steam profile. This is for your 
profile if you don't want this to be seen right here. You can always take that out if you want to see this. Uh, if, they, if you don't want the people to see this, you can do that. And here is exposed public Mac data. That's the same thing except for if you don't want people to if you want people to see this stuff right here or if you don't want them to see that. I just put it up just because I'm not bragging or anything or I'm not like hurting myself because I just think that is really why not? Just why not? And um, wrong tab. Um, here's um, some party invites, which is where you can go ahead and invite people to a party and stuff. Oh, okay. uh, and here's guild invites. This is, I believe, it's in here. Yeah, guild invites somewhere around here. And here's allow trades. You can go ahead and trade with people, uh, invite to trade, invite to trade, whatever. And here's network quality. I don't normally mess around with this because I have pretty good network quality, so I don't want to test out if I, if like it's gonna mess something up or anything. So, yeah. That is the regular options in Dota 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you a lot. And next video, I'm going to be getting into the lag issues and all of that stuff with Dota 2. If you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching. Bye.